What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan, my man George. What's up, guys? How you living out there? Lost in Vegas, coming back at you with another unbiased, real reaction, right, baby. Man, shout out to our free thinkers, of course. And our patrons, another early access video. That's right, God's yeah, man. man. But before we get into that, yeah. we got to send a quick shout out to Young LA to hook us up with some gear. You know, they actually saw George wearing Young LA on Yo, <laughs> That's the cool thing about having a channel, you get free shit. Apparently. <laughs> I was wearing a couple of their uh, hoodies and they kind of saw a few of our videos, man, and they decided to hook us up with some free stuff, um, which is really cool. Super what I, cool. What, yeah, man, what I liked about their stuff, though, man, is that it was affordable, and it's modern, not that it, old shit, like them old joggers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a modern And fit. it actually fits. And it, actually it fits. fits you well. It's got a modern cut to it, and, 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 and the I, quality is dope. And I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I was a little concerned. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if it's gonna be too tight, but it actually makes your boy look kind of small. Kinda, kinda. <laughs> Shout out to them, man, for sending us the stuff. Yeah, so we'll, man. We'll put their information in the uh, description as well. So yeah. So now, Godsmack. We put up a poll, guys, on our Patreon channel, uh, and we put up uh, "I Stand Alone," "Crying Like a Bitch," "Straight Out of Line," whatever, "Voodoo," and uh, "Awake." And Moon Baby. Yep. And I stand alone. What? Stands alone. <laughs> stands alone at the time. Yeah, as far as Godsmack is concerned, guys, we've definitely heard of Godsmack. Yeah. Like, absolutely. we've heard of the band. That's one of those bands that was kind of floating around when we um, used to listen to a little bit of rock and metal before we started the channel. Like, yep. that was kind of in the Linkin Park vein. Yep. The same thing. Nirvana, a couple bands we just, you're just no way you didn't yep. hear of them if you grew up in the 90s, right? Yep. You heard of this band. Um, interesting to see some of the comments here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some of you guys seem to uh, absolutely despise this. Band and yeah. some people seem to really enjoy them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're gonna see. So without further ado, let's get into it. God smack, I stand alone. <laughs> Sound I think I've, yeah, I've heard that. I that, think I may have heard this. That I stand alone. Stand alone. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard that before. Yeah. You know, but man, you know, I haven't in passing. I, that, that's that. This was. I've heard this on something. I've okay. heard this on something. I feel something. like I may yeah. have heard it. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. We'll let the song keep playing. But I'm rocking out though so far. I mean, this, I know this, it's commercial. Yeah, this is it's very commercial. But that. Uh, but uh, is that a bad thing though? It bangs though. Is it, that a bad thing? It's is not, commercial bad, guys. I mean, this is only to my metal elitist. Is commercial bad? They're gonna be like, hell yeah, yeah it's yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, for me. Hell yeah, it's bad. <laughs> the metal community prides itself on being anti, man, on, on, on doing their own thing, staying as far away from formulas as possible. They pride themselves on that, and that is very admirable. I yeah. must say. <laughs> But sometimes some shit just bangs, man. Yep. It bangs. And we have that same thing. We go through the same thing on the hip-hop side. the hip-hop side, yep. We, we definitely do. Yep. There's the formulas that people follow that sometimes annoys us, but sometimes the shit bangs and we play it because it's yep. cool when you're in a certain mood. Maybe you're at a party or yep. something like that and you hear Absolutely. something. You're like, yeah, it's, it's a formula, formulaic song. No, this is what I would consider high-level art. But the shit bangs. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? When I want to dance and I'm, and I'm having a good time, sometimes I just listen to it. And this, to me... It's just more of a banger. It's not yep. something that I would look at as like this high level right. uh, piece of uh, piece of art. So that's but so far. Like so far though. Yeah. I'm just. I'm yeah. not. <laughs> I'm not. Let's keep it going. You're Because he, he kind of sounds like, um, hold on a second. Yeah, somebody must be here. Yo, can someone tell me what bro metal is, though? <laughs> you bro heard? metal, <laughs> you ever heard of bro metal? No, uh, I think no. it's just like, I, <laughs> I think it's kind of like, that up. no, no, you didn't make that no, up. That's a thing. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, and I don't know, I've, I've seen it, and I'm like, under certain videos, it was under the five finger death punch video, a lot of people were like, oh, this is bro metal. And okay. I'm like, what the fuck does bro metal mean? Like, is it like like, like, like a bunch of frat boys hanging around like bros? Like, that's like, something that they would listen to? Or? Like like your friend? Nah, nah, nah. I, I don't think they mean it in that way. Like, like, like your homie? Not like homies like we homies. No. <laughs> I think what they're saying is it kind of has a cheesiness to it. Oh, like okay, like, I got you. Something that a bunch of frat boys would listen to, crush beer cans on their head, and listen, this, this, this is the type of music that's, gotcha. okay. that's kind of associated with that, that type of crowd, I think. 
that to me is what came to mind. And I get that this probably could call into that. Could rock at like a flat a frat party or something. Yep, like that. I got you. That's the vibes I'm getting. So I get how people can look at this shit and just say, like, this is just I get it. And it is commercial, yeah. universal. But one of the things that <laughs> that we've said a lot on this channel, man, how does it sound though? How does it sound to people who've been listening to metal for years? It sounds like crap. <laughs> When you haven't been listening to metal all your life and you just get exposed to something like this, you don't know who's following what formula. You don't That's know true. who's copying what. Now, I have listened to enough metal to kind of know that this was following a right. formula at that time. Like, I get, I've heard something that sounds like this. So right. I can understand where metal heads are coming from when they say they're just following the same old, you know, new metal or whatever type of, 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 of system. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But... We just didn't have that much exposure. We didn't. We weren't yep. exposed nearly as much as metalheads were. So from our perspective, when we hear a yep. boom, dun, 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 no, it's not complex. No, it's not progressive. No, it's not anything like that. Right. But, but the groove sounds good to people who haven't been listening to metal for, for the last true. thirty years. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. That's why the shit's popular. You know what yep. I'm saying? So that's kind of it's interesting for for metalheads to see our perspective. I think that's what's fascinating is that they can see. A yes. fresh perspective, right? Yep. That's what one of the things that's just fascinating about our channel, because that's the way I'm looking at it. I, I'm trying to put get myself it. in a metalhead's position that's been used to listening to metal for a long time. And I yeah. understand why they would look at this as like, ah, this is kind of lower level. Right. Fashion. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep. Just like we are. We're, we're yep. rap. There's some things that we know they're elite lyricists, and there are people that, uh, and we've seen it under our channel, yep. too. Like, <laughs> metalheads will like certain lyricists that to us are like beginning. They're like novices. Yep. But you guys will be like, ah, because you guys can understand them. It's, it's different It's different levels of Correct. intricacies and complexities that these guys display with their writing, and we've just been listening to rap for so long yep. that we could just say, dude, that dude is... Come on, dude. Yeah, you know what that's saying? He's basic. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep. So I, I see it both ways. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Right. <laughs> uh, we rocking though. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh man, I get it though, guys. I, I get, I get why people would look at that song and just say that that's just kind of like you know commercial fluff. You know, I get and it. And they say it's, not, it's, it's following a certain formula, but dude, I, I, that's rocked out. That's that's gonna go on my just banger playlist. Yep, it's gonna go on a banger playlist. I think that the lead singer, man, I, I can tell that there's probably inspiration there from you know what I'm saying maybe Metallica. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear you it. Can hear the inspiration. Yep. You can hear and it. Just how he's singing. But that's why I kind of was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just reminds me of, of a lot of these bands that I've heard that seem to kind of like a Ben Sevenfold as well, yep. as well a little bit. You can tell their inspiration and in how they uh, how they just sort of say, sing the lyrics yep. is similar to Metallica, especially that that chorus that I stand alone. <laughs> to me though, I get it, I get it. But man, that brings this song alive to me. I, th I like the chorus. Yeah, that's that brings this song. I mean, I like a lot of dimensions of it. I love the riffs and I love the the actual groove to it. But that chorus though, how he hits that high, yeah. stand alone. <laughs> you know, it's just like it, it's 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 passionate. Yeah. You know, and you're like, you know what? Yeah. That actually sounds pretty good. You I know, get it. and I think that just that 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 pulls you into the song. Yeah. Like if you weren't listening listening to the song prior to that, you're gonna start listening to it now. Yeah. After you hear that chorus. Yep. But the bottom line is, dude, that, that foundation <laughs> yeah. is just it's just hard and the chorus is catchy. Yep. You know I mean? It's just the banger. It's it not is. it's not this great work of art, it just bangs. You yep. know what I'm saying? And if I was at a concert and this came on and ah, yep, you're gonna rock out. You're gonna rock out. You're gonna, you're gonna rock out, man. It rocks. My metal elitists out there, I hear what you hear in this. You know, from up from a person that didn't come up listening to metal, right? That doesn't sound bad. Maybe it doesn't um, push the boundaries of creativity and what you, the foundations of what you like about metal, but that doesn't make this a trash song. It's just 
maybe not living up to the standard that you guys want it to live up to. And I can totally agree with that, uh, making a comparison to, yes. uh, to hip hop. But it's not trash. I, I hate using that word. I think we never should have started that way. I think I think that's just caught caught on to like taking a life of its own. Yeah, it, it, you know what I'm every, saying. Every, every, these guys have talent. They play instruments. And it, they they have talent, so it can't be trash. Right. <laughs> there's still talent there. But here's the thing, man. Metal's suffering from the same thing that country's suffering from now in the mainstream. That rap is definitely suffering from now in the mainstream. It's when there's an imbalance in music. I don't yep. think that if the progressive, you know, the 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 uh, music that was pushing boundaries in metal, I don't think that if that were at the forefront and That's this were kind of like yep. on the side is just popular stuff that people yep. like. I don't think that if this stuff um, didn't take over as like the main thing commercially, I don't think that metal elitists would have an issue with that's it. That's true. And that's the same, my issue that's with rap is. That's a great point. That's a great point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's my issue with rap is that there's no balance. It's like we get that there's music, everybody wants to have fun and have a good time and go to parties. I get that, but that should not be, that be shouldn't dominant. Trump, that shouldn't trump everything. Right. Yeah. And it should not. And it's the reason why people look at rap like, oh, that's just crap. All they talk about is yep. drugs and this that's and that. That's true. That's true. And that's hurting the genre because people's perception. Is, is, it's skewed. Is, is skewed, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. They're not getting the art. They're not getting the poetry yep. that the underground offers. And that's the issue that metal elitists have with music like this, that country people have with the, the new Nashville. They're not getting the, the, the Texas red dirt, Cody yep. Jinx country. Yep. You know, we know what's up now. Yep. And, and, they're not and getting, we have the they're same They're not getting too. the Opeths. Even, yeah, though yeah. On, <laughs> even though we're not big on the vocals on Opeth, Opeth is dope, though. Yeah, absolutely. Even though we, even we don't like the vocals. So yep. they're not getting the, 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 the music that's pushing boundaries that's usually showcasing true artistry. Absolutely. So hope, we just want you guys to know that we understand, we understand but right. this shit still bangs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This shit still bangs, though. We get it. Exactly. All right. So, so that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed. Please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel. The, the uh, link will be in the description. It will allow you to get early access to our content. That's if you're interested, of course. This is Lost Vegas. I'm George. That's Ryan. We, we out.